Hey guys, Brent from Monarch Cross Stitch. So we've had a lot of requests for adapters to be able to use um, Q-snaps, Millennium frames, Quantum frames, whatever else is out there. Um, to be honest, we don't even know what all's out there. So we've only ever used the scrolls. So I spent a lot of time trying to come up with something that I liked. Um, I think I finally found it. Um, the way that I have this built is going to work with just about anything that's out there. Um, so to start off with, a lot of people have had questions about Q-snaps. Now, we don't use Q-snaps. We actually went to Michael's and borrowed this. Um, this is their 11 by 11. So, and it's just on one of Jennifer's projects that she's finished. Um, so I think this is kind of how people do it. We're not sure. So if we're wrong, don't judge us. But anyway, so the idea here is that you have, okay, Jennifer, if you want to come in close, we have one piece that is going to remain stationary and another piece that just like the rest of the chrysalis is going to slide. We have a non-stick, um, non-slip pad that has been added to both ends. It's not going to mar or damage your product um, your project, anything in any way. So, and it hooks on just like our scroll does, and it allows you to have that tension, and it also allows for that 360 degree flip. So, to start off with, now keep in mind this is my recommendation. I don't cross stitch. Start off with it upside down, um, the clamps upside down, as well as your project upside down. Gonna feed it through. And then to tighten it down, all you're going to do, slide these two pads, slide it down. Doesn't take a lot of force. Just like that. Then, there you go. So it'll work. This is, like I said, this is the 11 by 11. Um, there's you know, going to be different sizes, um, but this size works just fine. All right, now we have the 17 by 17 Q snap. Um, the one um, issue that we have with it is that it does not allow a full 360 degree spin um, just due to the large size of it um, measured height wise. Width wise, you can do whatever you want up to 40 inches. Um, height wise, however, you know, you can still do large frames, but you're going to be limited in your flip. So you can see here that it allows it to, um, to rock back and forth. And you can flip it over almost all the way. So the frame does inter interfere in the back, but it gives you more than enough area to be able to access the back of your project surface. So flipping it over. So... Full access. The same is going to apply for any other um, any other frame style. Now, the other thing that people were asking about is, um, you know, how secure is it? We know a lot of people have been worried and skeptical and complaining about clamps and things slipping. So that's what I really like about this. It's with this rubber non-skid uh, material added to it. It's not going anywhere without intention. I mean, I wouldn't recommend hanging on it, but um, it's definitely going to be secure enough that you don't have to worry about it sliding into your lap or sliding on the floor. And once again, at the same time, it's not going to mar the frame that you have, nor is it going to um, get your project surface dirty um, or leave any type of a residue. So I hope that you like it. Um, it is going to be an option that we have with the chrysalis. So we'll have the chrysalis floor stand with your option of either a 24 inch oak doweled um, scroll, a 43 inch poplar doweled scroll, or the adapter setup for 199 plus shipping. And then if you wanna add any additional um, adapters or scroll frames, it's just gonna be $25 plus shipping on top. Um, but I really am happy with the way this product turned out. Um, you know, I don't like making things unless I'm happy with them, and I'm pretty sure you will be too. 
So thanks for your time and I hope you enjoy your stitching.